I shot armor piercing ammunition at several of our C zone target plates and the results were impactful. Let's talk about it. Right off the bat, I need to say this. Never shoot this ammunition at our steel targets. Our steel target plates are not meant to be shot with armor piercing or barrier defeating ammunition. And this video and the others that follow are purely to educate you on the how and why of our steel target systems. Please, 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 please do not do this at home. I shot a few different types of ammunition at all of our C-Zone target plates. We have the Genesis 3 8 inch AR500 target plate, the Exodus 3 8 AR550 target plate, and the half inch Exodus AR550 plate. And the ammo I chose is specifically designed to defeat hardened targets. The reason that we filmed this video was to showcase the differences between the two different materials that we use. The Genesis 3 8 AR500 option is made from domestically sourced AR500 material. The Exodus plates are manufactured from a Swedish AR550 that is sourced directly from Sweden. While the shape and size are very similar, the steel is wildly different. I know most folks mistakenly assume that just adding the extra five in the word AR550 could not make that big of a difference, but it actually does make a huge difference. The two materials begin life in a totally different way. They are not the same makeup or process of refining into the plates that we buy and then ultimately cut into targets. The results later show this and will tell this story. Ultimately, I want people to understand the limitations of the targets that they're purchasing from us. I also often get questions about whether someone should buy, say, the Genesis systems or Exodus steel targets. I'm attempting to just visualize the differences so you can purchase the right plate for your needs. The ammunition that I used in this test was the M80 A1 308 round, an M2 armor piercing, and M855 A1. All of these rounds were fired at 100 yards. The 30 caliber ammo was fired out of an 18 inch barrel. The M855 A1 was fired out of a 16 inch barrel from my Zion 15. None of these rounds are approved for use on our steel targets. This was incredibly interesting to me because I had actually never fired the M80 A1 on our steel targets. And I spent over $11 a round to purchase this ammunition, which in my opinion is kind of insane. As soon as I had it in my hands, I figured that the M2 black tip would actually be more devastating. And frankly, I guessed correctly. Let's talk about what I found on each of these target plates and what the impact and the performance told me about each of these systems. So originally I was gonna start off with the 3 8 inch AR500 Genesis plate. However, I actually wanna start off on the half inch AR550 C zone because this is the plate that I've tested the most over the years since 2016, frankly. We've done a ton of armor piercing tests. So when I lined up on this plate, I knew exactly how it was going to perform because I knew how this steel reacts when being struck with even improper ammunition. So when we shot it with the MA55A1, again, not surprised, just a tiny little imprint. Frankly, the MA55A1 really doesn't do much more damage, if at all, than regular M855 in my experience. I'm not sure if that little steel tip on the front really does much. It's the military's caliber, they know best. The almighty government always makes the right decisions as we've always found out, but I digress. When we moved into the M2 ammunition, it did impact the plate a little harder and it did have more damage on the plate. But again, I've done this before with the black tip 30 caliber ammunition and it just chips the plate a little bit. No risk of pass through on the half inch AR550. When we moved to the 308, the M80A1, I mean, I guess technically, technically it's 762 at 51. Some of you are gonna correct me on that, but I'm gonna call it 308 because it's my channel, I can do what I want. But the M80A1 barely left a mark. About the same as the M855A1. Again, as soon as I held it, I looked at the bullets and I compared the two, I knew that the M2 was gonna cause more damage than the M80A1. So just recapping the half inch plate, no risk of pass through, very little damage. Still, you're not supposed to use this ammunition on this plate, but this is why this plate has a lifetime one replacement warranty on it. And I can count on one hand every year how many people actually claim that warranty because to break one of these plates, you actually functionally have to do something kind of crazy. And we're gonna be testing with 50 BMG and some other calibers in the very near future, so stay tuned for that. Moving on to the 3 8 inch AR550 Exodus plate. Again, a C-Zone, this is our ADAP system exact same performance as the half inch. 
And this is where I really think we need to pay a little bit of attention and then think about this performance when we move over to the Genesis plate because it is a stark contrast between the two. Keep in mind that both of the white plates on the table here are that Swedish AR550 material. It is an incredibly strong, incredibly durable material that goes through extra processes. It's manufactured from new material, not recycled. And on top of that, there's secondary processes that the metal goes through during the manufacturing process that keeps that hardness of that plate up to 95% of the surface hardness through the entire plate, which is why it is so crazy strong. But a lot of people mistakenly think that on the market, 3.8 AR550 is no different than 3.8 AR500. We'll talk about that at the end. But the M2 Impact left just a tiny little impression on the 3.8. M855A1, almost no impression at all on the 3.8s. And the M80A1, again, almost no impression on this plate. It performed exactly like the half inch plate. This one here has a three year warranty on it as well. And it's a phenomenal option. Moving over to the Genesis plate on my right, on your left, saw a totally different experience. The M855A1 still had no risk of pass through, but it did gouge it up pretty good. When we moved on to the M2, the plate barely moved and the plate barely moved because that M2 ammo just ripped right through it like hot butter. So that was not surprising to me. And that alone showcases the difference between the AR500 and the AR550. On the M2 on the 3 8 550, it left a tiny little chip. On the 3 8 inch AR500 on the Genesis side, it cut right through the plate and made a complete pass through. For folks wondering about the M80A1, how it compares to the M2, this is another great one to test because if the M80A1 was as good as the M2, it would have passed through as well, but it did not. So the M80A1 did not pass through the 3 8 inch AR500 Genesis plate. So in reality, what does this test showcase? Well, it showcases the brute strength and the resistance to damage of the Exodus line of steel targets. The Genesis line, while we still source a very high quality AR500 material, it's not as strong or refined as the AR550 that's used in the ADAP family of target systems or any of our systems that fall under the Exodus family. That performance does come at a price jump. And there are many folks that are wondering if that price jump is worth it. Testing like this and showcasing how resistant this material is, even when faced with completely improper and abusive uses and testing, shows that picture. I do these tests to showcase that we are not just grabbing random steel, cutting it, and calling it a steel target. We curate tailored systems for high volume shooters, especially on the Exodus side. But we also offer more entry focused options for people who are lower volume shooters or folks that are just simply on a tighter budget. Steel targets are a phenomenal training tool and our objective is to make them accessible to as many types of people who train in as many different ways as possible. And that's why we have two different lines of steel targets. We've been called crazy for putting warranties on our steel target systems as well. The proof is in the testing of this armor piercing ammunition and showing the differences between all of these target plates. The Genesis line, although it's still a quality system, is not going to be as strong as the Exodus line. It is perfect for lower volume shooters or people that shoot rifles over 100 yards. But the moment that you become a high volume, closer distance training individual, the more the Exodus line is going to make sense. If the Exodus line can take barrier defeating ammunition like I just showed here and have not a single failure, how long is it gonna be lasting you when you use it properly? The answer is likely your entire life. This is a purchase that you get to make one time and it lasts you forever. No matter what, I just wanna see people training on safe steel targets. This is not some corny marketing ploy. Steel targets, when not improperly used or designed improperly, can be incredibly unsafe and deadly to use. People do get hurt every single year and some people have died when using unsafe steel targets. You need to be auditing the targets that you're running and you have to make certain that they are safe for use. Additionally, in the description, I'm gonna provide a link that takes you to a little pamphlet that we have on our website. You can print it off, you can just view it on your computer screen if you want, but it helps you decide if the targets that you're shooting are safe or if they're dangerous. And I hope that that tool and I hope that this video was helpful and educational. Let me know in the comments below if you plan to watch the full armor piercing test when we post it up on TA Targets YouTube in case it's not live already. It should be coming in the coming weeks, but it might also be live. So check the description. If it's already live, I'll put that link down in the description. 
If you have specific questions about steel targets in general, leave me a comment below. I'll have our team watch the comments and maybe if there's enough recurring content and comments down in that comment section, we could do sort of a Q&A style video about steel targets in general. And I promise it's not gonna be boring because we don't like to make boring videos. Anyways, thank you for watching. Consider buying one of these steel targets on our website. And just keep in mind, if you buy anything off of the TA Targets website, be sure to put in the Keystone Carry code when you check out. And as always guys, stay well, stay safe. I will see you in the next video.